Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love Batch of the National Rare. And today I'm going to show you how to get the original firmware that we get from the Samsung and flash it and install it over your device. And it is going to be standard for all the Galaxy devices out there. So that is not a problem. It will work with all the Galaxy devices. And I will show you how to do that. And it is really easy. All you have to do is download the Odin and your original firmware. So I will show you how to do that. And the link to the Odin Odin will be down in the description please do check it out and today I have the Galaxy S6 Edge with me it is the G925i so we're gonna flash the stock firmware on this device right away and you can see right behind the device I have my laptop over there so we're gonna do that on that so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in your browser and go to sammobile.com and now you're gonna go in login and you'll have to make an account for this so I have already logged in over here so you're gonna click on the firmware and the ROM that I'm using on this device right now is the Resurrection Remix ROM version 5.8.4 and if you want to check out its review the link to the review will be right over here please do check it out if you want to so here in my model you have to enter your model number so we're just gonna type in RG925i over here and whatever your model number is select uh, just enter it over here and search for it and then you're gonna go down and you're gonna select your country so mine is India I'm gonna select that and you're gonna go down once again and you're gonna select the latest one that is over here I'm gonna select that and you have the regular download option over here which you can select and download so i've already downloaded the firmware to speed this along so now you're gonna go and extract that zip file out you're gonna go and select this file over here this is the one and you're gonna right click over it and you're gonna extract here and you're gonna extract out your odin as well so while it's extracting out let's go into phone setting and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in developers options if you are not getting the developers options over here go in about device and tap on build number until you see that the developer options have been enabled so you're gonna go in developers option then and you're gonna go down and enable the android debugging or usb debugging whatever it is called in your device you're gonna enable that and if you have a oem unlock in your device then you're gonna enable that as well so the file has been extracted out so we're gonna go in od now you're gonna right click over it and you're gonna run it as administrator yes and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your device And when your device has been turned off, you're gonna press volume down key, home key and power key at, at the same time. So the device will go into this download mode and you're gonna press volume up key to continue. So your device is in the download mode now. And now you're gonna connect it to your uh, PC or laptop, whatever you are working with. So I'm just gonna connect it with my laptop over here and it is now connected and as you can see over here you can see you have the blue light which indicates that the device has been connected so you're gonna click on AP now and you're gonna search for the file that we have extracted right now so you're gonna click on it and you're gonna start the process so it takes a little bit of time to process the file after you have selected it in AP so we're gonna wait for it So the process has been started now and it will take about minute or two to finish so we're just gonna wait for it. So guys as you can see that the device booted up and it is restarting now. So it will take about a minute or two to restart. So guys the device just booted up and we're gonna go inside it. Turn off your device. And when the device has been turned off, you're gonna press volume up key, home key and power key at the same time. And you're gonna let go of the power key. And you're gonna wait for it. And when you get this screen, you're gonna go down and you're gonna select the wipe data slash factory reset. So you're gonna press power key over here 
and you're gonna go down and press power key once again when it is done you're gonna go down once again and you're gonna select the wipe cache partition so yes and you're gonna reboot the system now and if, if you wanna go to the stock the Samsung logo the boot logo which mine is the blue s6 edge so what you're gonna do is before flashing the rom to the original firmware you're gonna flash a file with the custom recovery that is down in the description it is the stock boot logo so you just flash that with the custom recovery and you're golden so guys as you can see the device just booted up and it is back to the original things and the original uh, startup over here you have setup screen over here so i'm just gonna quickly set it up and i'll show you that we are on the latest version of the of the latest version of the galaxy s6 edge so so guys as you can see the device just booted up and let's go into about device now and as you can see you have the model number of the smg 95i and you have the software info 7.0 Android version 7.0 and you have the Nox version over here, the latest security patch and all and the build number is from the S6 Edge, the latest version as well. So as you can see we are back at the stock firmware and it was that easy you just have to flash the stock firmware file from with the Odin. I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share the video. And thanks for watching, guys.